Okay, let's go check this out. Tamantun this morning at what is aiming to be a hundred Porsche 911 car meet. We're slap bang right in the middle of Tamantun here where a whole bunch of Porsche owners have just kind of like got together and just assembled in this general parking lot behind me. There is a bunch of people just walking around, taking videos, taking pictures. This whole thing actually kicked off at like 9 a.m. this morning. I got here at like 10 and the time now is 10 minutes to 11. But this video is really for those of you who weren't able to attend. I'm going to walk you through exactly what has showed up at this meet. So, and just a really quick word of disclaimer, there's a lot of background music, a lot of background noise happening. They're blasting like music back there. So uh, do bear with me. Check this out. kick things off in this corner because these are two cars that speak massively to me. These are the new 2022-2023 Porsche 911 GT3, the 992 generation. Now these two are really interesting because this one over here is specced with uh, well, jet black body with bronze wheels, extremely tasteful. And the one immediately next to it comes in the, if I'm not wrong, this is the launch pack color of shark blue, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, with silver wheels. I know a lot of people are fans of these things, but yeah, having these two next to each other is pretty cool. I don't even think I've seen one of these on the road yet officially so yeah this is actually my first time seeing one in person and to my left we have the Porsche Boxster 718 um, a nice turquoise green thing going on here 911 GT3 RS these are a dream of mine and this one even has additional canards and carbon fiber down here on the side and the that's the GT2 hood thing so yeah, quite nice customizations in larva blue um, this escapes me a little bit. Uh, this is a Targa of some sort, uh, a 930, I think, uh, from the 1970s. I may have got that wrong. Do correct me. Back across, we have two very interesting cars. So this here is the uh, Speedster, the 911 991.2 Speedster, which is actually based on a GT3, uh, but obviously you get the soft top around the back and uh, a swooping deck, which which is what gives it that speedster silhouette as you can see from the side just like that that there is a 992 targa oh wow i'm really testing my knowledge here but yeah this is a 992 targa oh it's quite a nice gold emblem on the side that's pretty cool And as we come around the back, it even has this Porsche Heritage badge on it. Moving up the lot, we have a 911 Carrera S 991. And across, we have a pair of GT3 RSs. Really like these. Having these together is really, really cool to see. Larva orange, ultraviolet. We have an old school 911 here. Uh, I think this one's a 993 from the 90s. And that's a 991.2. And this here is very interesting. So this is the uh, 718 Boxster 25th anniversary edition. This is the only one in Malaysia according to the event organizer. So it's really cool to see one of these here. The main difference between this and the standard 718 Boxster is the gold wheels, the trim, and you get some badges that tell you it's a 25th anniversary Boxster. And across 
across from the 25th anniversary box store, we have two very interesting cars. These are the previous 997.2 generation GT3 RSs, but these are actually 4.0. They came in limited numbers and limited colors as well. So you had the white with the red accents and stripes and white wheels, and you also had the gray with red accents and red wheels. But there is also one more that comes in blue with red wheels. Uh, I don't think I've seen one of those before, ever. In fact, I think the only time I actually saw one of these was when I was racing them on Need for Speed. And immediately next to it, you have the generation before it. So this is the 997.1, 997.2, 997.1. In, I think what they call, I think they call this color lizard green and you get the uh, classic Porsche GT emblem not emblem uh, livery on the side with the yellow calipers as well very very cool I think this was a launch spec color back in the day I apologize for the background music because this is where it gets loud but we're gonna continue anyway um, the ick, the ick <laughs> headlight 911. This is probably the most hated generation, but I personally really like them. That one's a turbo 996, and this one here might be a GT3. I'm not sure, but let's come around the back. The thing that gives it away is this massive wing that you see. And oh, yep, there we go, GT2. Yep. I guess I do know my Porsches. <laughs> oh, and immediately next to it, we have a GT3. The main difference is turbocharged, non-turbocharged. This is faster, but this sounds better. And if we look closely, this guy even has a baby seat inside it. Yeah, I guess you gotta start them young, right? But yeah, it's a good spec. Uh, blue body, red wheels, quite like it. And his says GT3 CS on the side. I'm not actually sure if there was officially a variant called the GT3 CS, but there you are. I think CS stands for Club Sport, which would kind of make sense because, yeah, Club Sport, okay, because he's got the Recaro bucket seats, if you can see it just like so. But yeah, having these two next to each other, very, very cool. Immediately next to it, we have the 993 911s. I think this one's a turbo. Let's see. And coming around the back, is it a turbo? Yes, it's a turbo. And the one immediately next to it is the standard Carrera RS. If you can even call that standard. I really like the wheels on this. Really feeling those. That's very, very cool. And this is the 992.1. The newest 911 of the lot. Immediately next to us, we find the uh, RWB variant, RWB uh, modified variant of uh, what is a 80s 911. The way this works is there's this uh, guy in Japan, I kind of forgot what his name was. He actually flies all the way to Malaysia and brings the entire kit with him. The owner will then have to find a donor car uh, and he will come and kind of like pour on these rivets into the arches that gives the car a much more flared stance which you can actually see from the side as it protrudes out. Um, and that includes the front bumper as well, you get the, <laughs> the sticker on the top. And then coming around the back, you also do, if I'm not wrong, you also do get the wing, uh, the rear bumper and there you go, that's its emblem, RWB. So yeah, these things are really cool. Uh, some purist Porsche owners think that this is completely sacrilegious, but yeah, I'll leave it up to you. I think I think they're quite cool, especially when you look at that dish, the depth of the dish inside the wheel. That's that's really really cool. And immediately next to it, you have a uh, customized Cayman. So not a 911, but still very very cool with the uh, retro wheels. And I think if I paid attention, or if you pay attention, the front bumper actually belongs to a 911. I, I don't know how he's managed to fit that on, but that looks very very cool. And immediately next to it, we have uh, yeah a 911 with I think those are called Workmeister wheels with livery to match the wheel color as well so yeah the black against the gold or bronze that looks really really good very tasteful 
also should highlight coming around the back, both cars have ducktail spoilers. This one's got a ducktail spoiler. This one here has a ducktail spoiler as well. Ducktail spoilers on Porsches are, yeah, they just work. They really work. Okay, this pairing here, I'm, I'm really getting out of my depth here. Uh, 9.30, I think. Somebody in the comments is gonna have to correct me because I am gonna get something wrong. But I think these are from the 80s. Uh, all very nice Porsches and you can see the lineage. And it gets older as we walk along because one of the event organizers actually told me that this here is an F body, F body Porsche. Again, way beyond my ears. I'm really trying here. But yeah, very, very cool. I may not know what they are, but I can 100% respect what they are. So just feast your eyes, people. Okay, now these here, I know. Um, I'm quite sure I know. 928, 944. Yeah. I can't say I'm the biggest fan of these things. I don't hate them, uh, just can't fully appreciate them, I guess. But uh, I know many people do, especially the purists. But yeah, there's a pair of them here. Okay, I'm about halfway through the entire meet. And now we are rejoined by a, I think this is a Carrera 4S. This is a 996.2. Yeah, I'm quite sure this is a 996.2, but please do correct me if you think I got that wrong. <laughs> And over here again, we have another modified Cayman with a uh, with a 911 front bumper with Le Mans inspired or LMP inspired uh, racing yellow headlights with BBS wheels. Okay, there's quite a lot going on here. And if I come closer, he has a very nice interior as well. If the camera can pick that up. And so is that steering wheel. Oh, okay, this guy means business. And, oh wow, look at that gear stick. Yep, okay, that's very, yeah, that's very, very cool. And immediately in front of it, we have a 991.1 GT3. That's a really nice yellow. I'm sure that's a launch pack color as well. And immediately next to that, we have another uh, Carrera S or Carrera 4S. I'm not sure. I gotta look around the back again. Uh, with the egg headlight. And across that, we have a 991 GTS, I think. Is this a GTS? The front bumper looks like a GTS, but I can't tell whether it actually is a GTS. Oh no, it's a 4S. Sorry. Uh, I got it wrong. <laughs> okay. Yeah, finally, I got this one wrong. And immediately on the other side, again, we have uh, some 70s, 80s Porsches. Uh, again, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm out of my depth again. I'm drowning. And on my right, we have the 997.2. That's a 997.2 uh, Carrera. This here is a GT3 991.2. Oh, wow, okay. Now this here is a very, very interesting. This is a GT2 RS. And this one has a Golf livery on it. So this is a proper heritage car. Super cool to see. And immediately next to that, we have a GT3 RS. So I think this guy's done some work to his car. Uh, the livery looks a little bit different, but nonetheless, it looks very, very good. And immediately next to that, we have a 911 GT3 991.2. And across that, we have more 911s. Oh, I'm really, really running out of breath. And my mouth is getting a bit fatigued from saying 911 over and over again, but uh, yeah. More 911s over here. And I'm quite sure these are from the early 90s into the mid 90s. And then you had the, uh, the egg headlight 996 that appeared in the late 90s and early 2000s back there. But yeah, let's move on. Again, 991.2 GT3. Uh, more 90s, 911s. Oh, someone's leaving. That there is a 997.2. There, GT3. 
GT3 RS. That might be an RS though. Oh no, that's a standard GT3. That's a GT3 RS. Uh, more 90s 911s. Ooh, this is a really nice example of well my ideal spec for a 997.2. Blue body, red brake calipers. Fairly plain, fairly simple. Looks pretty good. And across over here, we have uh, something that's also quite interesting. Uh, not a 911, in fact, this is a Cayman, a pair of them actually. This, these are a pair of uh, Cayman GT4s. Can't even tell, I'm quite sure that's a wrap actually. And I'm quite sure that's paint, but then again, these days, the wraps are so good, you can't even tell whether they are wraps or paint. Immediately next to it, we have a GT3 991.1, GT3 991.2, Again, please help guys. <laughs> Not sure what that is. 991.1 Turbo S. And I'm quite sure because it says so on the side. Oh, and here we have a 99. Oh, what is this? GT3 991.1 Yes, that's right. 991.2 Oh, guys, help. I'm losing it. <laughs> this here is quite interesting as well. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. This is a... That is not a GT product, but yeah. Oh, 911 Carrera S. The owner has actually done some work to it and you can tell by the color of the wheels, the livery. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And a small wing on the back, that's fairly tasteful. Yeah, not bad. And immediately next to that, we have a 911 GT3. Now this car is really interesting because if I'm not wrong, the owner actually tracks this car. He takes it on really long drives. He is not scared to put the miles on it. This car actually has a history. I think it's famous and yeah, it's got a racing helmet on the top as well so yeah I thought that was I thought that was really interesting I think this is like the highest mileage GT3 in the country I don't want to go as fast as say the world because I don't know but in the country no doubt definitely so again more early 2000s Porsches here uh, this one and that one this here we have a it looks like a GT3 but I can't really tell but I do like that color. It wears it very well. 997.2, I think. And this here is a 997.2 turbo. In fact, I think I think this one is for sale uh, by OPM. Actually, it might be for sale. Uh, worth checking with uh, OPM on Instagram. And this here is a 991.2. 991.2. <laughs> Turbo Carrera S. Moving down the order, 991.2 Turbo. And this one here is also a 997.2 Turbo. Quite sure. Yeah. Again, we're coming back to the early 2000s, and here we are coming into the later 2000s. Oh, and this one's a GTS as well, but is it genuine? It should be, because there's a sticker on the side that says so. And yes, it in fact is. Okay, all right, cool. Okay, I'm not sure where these guests came from, but I'm not complaining that they're here. We have a 488 Ferrari, and we also have a Scuderia that showed up. <laughs> Uninvited guests, but I'm not gonna complain. That one has a dual clutch, which is a lot easier to back up. This one has a single clutch, which is a lot more difficult to back up, but yeah, here they are. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of this video, but I just had to end this video and wrap this up with that pairing behind me. That uh, Scuderia is just really calling my name because that actually is one of my dream cars. Even here at a Porsche meet, I can't help myself. So I do apologize, but I'm sorry, but I'm not really sorry at the same time. So if you do like this sort of uh, content, these kind of videos, do drop me a like, hit the subscribe button, and there's gonna be, I'm gonna see more stuff that I can be posting on this space as we go along for more car events car me it's just car stuff anyway but yeah thanks so much for watching guys and i will catch you in the next video